This video is about personalizing the transparency grid in Adobe Illustrator. Particularly, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a completely black, transparent background. The most basic manipulation available for the transparency grid is simply turning it off and on. This can be done in the Properties tab with no shapes or layers selected with the click of a button. There is also a Show and Hide Transparency Grid option in the View menu. From there, you can see the shortcut key that does the same thing, Control shift d I like to work on dark screens. The default background when hiding the grid, though, is white. It's sometimes helpful to me to have the transparency grid be completely black. To manipulate the transparency grid, we're going to go to File, Document Setup. We can also press Control alt p Our focus in the Document Setup dialog box is the Transparency and Overprint Options section. The Grid Colors dropdown gives you some options for stock grids. The easiest option for a darker background is to switch to the dark setting. This can be helpful in a lot of cases, but I am looking for a completely black background. This can be done with some customization by selecting Custom. Here we select colors for each of the two colors in the grid. If you want it to be all black or any other color, just click black or the color that you want and click OK. Select black for the second color as well, then click OK a couple more times and you have a black background. This works well if you keep the transparency grid off. But, if you turn it back on, the entirety of the workspace ends up being black and you can no longer see your artboard. If you like to have the entire workspace one color like this, you can make a border around your artboard with a simple rectangle. The first thing we need is the artboard size. This can be found in the artboards panel. Select the drop down menu in the upper right corner and select artboard options. Here you can see the width and height of the artboard. Mine is 1920 by 1080. I'll cancel out of this and select the Rectangle tool. Make a 1920 by 1080 rectangle, then line it up with the artboard. I'll rename it Border in the Layers panel. Then I'll open the Properties panel and set my fill to None and my Stroke to White 5 point. The thing is, when I zoom into our rectangle, I see that the border I made is actually being drawn on the inside edges. This makes the border too small for the actual artboard, so what I'm going to do is open the Appearance panel by clicking on the three dots at the bottom of the Appearance tab of the Properties panel. I can also select Window Appearance, or simply press Shift F6. Here we see that our stroke is 5 point inside. I can change this by clicking on Stroke, then Align Stroke to Outside. Now the border actually acts as a border around our entire artboard. There is still another way to change the grid color. I'm going to reopen File Document Setup. Then I'll pick a stock grid color, click OK, and we see the grid. One more time, I'll open the Document Setup window and then, right from the main Document Setup window, I can select the two different colors, one at a time, and change them to whatever colors I'd like. Click OK and there is the black background again. If we failed to achieve our goal of making a clear, concise, and helpful video, or if you have any questions about this or related topics in Illustrator, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.